What's up, people of YouTube? F Man Critic back, and I know I've been gone for a couple of months. And listen, it breaks my heart knowing, Owen, of all the time I don't go on this channel and make videos for all of you. But I promise you, that time ends now. The reason I've been gone, well, uh, before, uh, after spring break ended, I made a bet with someone at school that if I couldn't go on my channel for the whole semester, uh, he, he would give me 20 quid. And jokes on him because I made it for the entire semester without making a video, yo. So I just owe myself twenty big ones, um. But I promise you, I won't make a stupid deal like that again. And it was I, it was either he pays me or I pay him. Oh, well, what do you expect, kids at my place? What do you expect, ex kid? That the point is, is people make dumb, stupid choices. Anyway. Top Cat begins. I already reviewed the first Top Cat movie, so how about we talk about the movie of how we met his gang, how he lives in New York City, and how he lives in a what was the alley he's called again? It, it, the alley that he's in, he lives in again. I forgot. Uh, if you're probably wondering about the Hawaiian shirt, I don't know. I just thought I might spice it up a little. I thought it'd be nice since it's summer now and it's my birthday tomorrow. No, oh, that's right. It's the F Man Critics B Day tomorrow. Happy birthday to me. Anyway, we start off. Anyway, the movie starts off with this crazy scene about these with, with celebrities walking in a red carpet into this place. And then we see our entire crew. Well, not entire crew, because where's Benny? Where's Where's a spoof, spoof, the green one, the one that wears the black tie. Am I pronouncing his name right? Spoof? I think I am. Anyway, where are they? We'll get to them soon. And apparently it has a little narration in it by Top Cat. And what he does is, you know, he pretends to be a health, a fake health inspector. But apparently it's also a rescue mission. Because you see, while they expect, while, while they were getting bribed by the, uh, the chef, F and the waiters as they quickly got discovered that they're not the real health inspector then they fall into this giant elevator that was breaking and then they meet up with this motorcycle dude who's all like why should I risk my neck out to help you and he wonders there's he was just like this guy as well apparently top cat was new to the city and he needed a scat and he needed to make some money but when but when he was making some money he heard Benny he playing on his violin, and let me tell you something, he is not awesome on that instrument at all. Oh. Then he immediately met him, and they sort of became friends, and they figure out how they can make money together. So they, so there's like a little montage of how they did, did some scams, um, made a bit of money. And then, then in return, then Benny gives Top Cat okay, his favorite hat. Well, I just want to say this. I do feel like the whole... He got the top, he got the hat from Benny, was cool, but it felt a little rushed, considering the fact that he has matching clothes to match the hat. I did think it was kind of, kind of stupid. It would have made a lot more sense if, like, when Top Cat was new to the city, he had a little scuffed up clothes. Like, not clothes that he looks like, like, but he gets the clothes that he eventually has forever later on in the movie, you know? Anyway, he meets up with uh, Benny's... Mother, who apparently makes ca awful cabbage meals. And apparently their house is sort of haunted. Because apparently, Lee, Lee, Benny and his mother are not the only people who are hungry. Apparently the, apparently the furniture are also hungry too. Because they're trying to eat top cats. And anyway, and then uh, they go around pulling off heist. Pulling off heist. Ice, but then they get stopped by bad dog or is it mad dog is it mad dog or bad dog either way they get stopped by someone that was hired by mr big and who's mr mr big we'll get to him later apparently like, since top cat's been pulling off these successful scams it was either it was either three options for him number one he cuts puts mr big into 99 percent of the deal two he stops doing them and free, he stops doing them permanently because he would be dead. And 
Anyway, Top Cat gets poor, gets thrown in the trash can. And and look at this actually. Look at this actually. Hey, guess what that is actually? That's the Top Cat movie. The the original Top Cat movie. Like what the hell is it doing in the trash can? Like that's not like a one time thing. No, the trash can that they're in is literally filled with those DVDs. Jeez, Jesus, the, the movie. Jesus, was the first Top Cat movie the really bad? Did people really hate this movie? Jeez, is that the reason why it was in the trash? Whatever. Point is, is Top Cat learns from uh, Mr. Big and his goons. Apparently they pulled off a huge diamond heist, which apparently Top Cat uh, instantly falls in love with. And then, he in and then he pulls a scam to get them from Mad Dog. Oh, and he has the diamonds. This is... He's got like all of them, you know. That's that's not the one diamond. He's got like a hundred. He's got like thirty of them. It's like like how many diamonds were there? I don't know. Point is, they're like the most expensive diamonds in the whole world. Oh, and he and Top Cat knew he 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 would instantly spend on them immediately. So he kept so he gave them to Benny. He but big mistake because when they went to the nightclub that was owned by Mister. It turns out they used one of his diamonds to get in, and Mr. Big kind of got mad. So, so he was told by, uh, Top, he was told, it, Mr. Big was told, told Top Cat to go get the rest of his diamonds or he's dead. And, and Benny doesn't remember where he put them, and neither does Top Cat know where Benny put them. Um, so they, so they cheese it. It's, anyway... Where he eventually got, and I mean he he kind of trapped Bad Dog in in the in the in the in the uh, creature eating sofa. <laughs> anyway, hey, and then they go to Officer Dibble. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this earlier. Uh, Mr. Dibble, they this is how they met him. They met him because they were trying to sell him stuff, and they eventually had a chase together. Uh, yada yada yada. Point is. When they kind of became friends afterwards, it's after the chase, and then then they uh then then they meet up with the chief, Ethan. Wow, he looks different from the movie actually. Did this guy get replaced in the show with a different chief that eventually was gonna go retire? Whatever, he looks far different from the original chief from the Top Cat movie. I mean, I've, I've never I haven't seen the show mostly. I've mostly just watched the movies. Anyway, a and it was up to. It was up to Dibble to protect them. Why not put Top Cat and Benny in witness protection? Like, right now, our Top Cat and Benny are now wanted fugitives by Mr. Big. And, and, and why not put them in witness protection? Whatever. Point is, point is, uh, point is, Top, Top Cat gets, Top Cat and Benny gets put with, uh, Officer Dibble's grandmother. D uh, Granny Dibble, or Granny. Sorry about that. Uh, by, by Granny Dibble. And let me tell you something. She is one crazy woman. Like, like on the one hand, you think she's a normal, sweet old lady, but she's freaking crazy. She, she used to be in the military. Like, like, she sounds all crazy, and she gets all, she, she, she's just, wow. And she has, like, a freaking tank in the back of her garden. Like seriously, when when the goons came to invade her house, she put the goons through hell. Oh, don't feel sorry for Gra Annie Dibble. Well, she can take care of herself. Literally, you should feel sorry for those goons. Poor goons. Whatever. Before before they got before they uh their cover got blown and oh and the goons can't. This is how Top Cat met the rest of the team. Well, rest. We're still missing Spoosh. Spoosh. Can't pronounce his name right. Whatever they meet, uh, fancy fancy, the the uh white turtleneck one. I forgot his name as well. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. First review back after spring break. Ache and you know I'm terrible. I'm getting a little rusty. I'm sorry. And and brain as in brainless. <laughs> That's why I don't go and call him that. Anyway, point is, is Top Cat tries to make him make them a part of his crew. Like, scamming them to do a bunch of chores. Or so he doesn't do them. Like, he makes uh, he makes the turtleneck one know how to do mop foo. Which is basically just cleaning up with a mop. 
He calls it mop food and make it more fancy. He uh, teaches Brain how to uh, fix a car by giving him a manual. And then he gives a... Uh, wait, did I say Brain? Brain gets a manual to the car. And then Fancy Fancy, he gets like video tapes from a uh, from French movie so he can learn French because he's a ladies man. And he also gets ex ex he also gets to do the windows. It was Andy. Anyway, when the goons show up, they had to go back to New York. After that, Top Cat and Benny kind of split up because he kind of got fed up with Benny being a dumbass. Anyway, and then uh, and then Benny realizes realizes his mom got had the diamonds all along, and they made it, and she made it into a necklace and gave it to that singer in a uh, Mr. Big's club. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Big. Screw it. I'm just gonna. Why does everyone have to whisper when they pronounce his name? It's stupid. Okay, whatever. Point is, point is, uh, Top Cat tries to get, tries to get Benny with a uh, fake, hang on, fake, try to get Benny with with his disguises, but they fail, and then Top Cat gets escort, get, goes, decides to go to Florida by using one of the diamonds he got back from Benny. He, when he was about to take off, he realized about the hat he got from Benny, and decided, screw it, he's going back to save him. Um, and then when he went back to Dibble's, Dibble's apartment, and uh, the gang arrived. They get, Granny Dibble told all of them that Top Cat might be there, so she gave him a spare key and stuff. Oh, that was nice of her. Whatever. Uh, point is, uh, and then they were about, they were about to, uh, they were, they were about to say Benny again, and, uh, and that's when the flashback ends. Like, I'm not joking, it takes, like, an entire hour, and then the flashback's over. It's kind of impressive, actually. A, like, like, when you start the movie to finish, like, when the hour, like, the entire hour that the movie goes, like, the second the hour sh went, went, it's been a whole hour, like 60 minutes. It's that's when the flashback is over. It's kind of impressive. Hmm. Whatever. Point is, point is, uh, the motorcycle gang actually uh, does help him. Um, it looks like he was about to flake, but he spe but he throws them a rope. Oh, and turns out this motorcycle guy was actually Spook all this time, known as Hellcat Spook. See what he was trying to do was he's been trying to follow him around so that way. He knows about them, so that because he hates working with Mr. Big. He's a slave. His pizza slave. He's been trying to he's been trying to know them better so that they can join forces and stop him. That was cool. Well, anyway, so uh, yeah, because you see what happened was, as he used to have this motorcycle named uh, was it Sheila or uh, Carol? I don't know. I forgot his name of the motorcycle. Point is, it was the love of it was the love of his life. I'm surprised he didn't surprised he didn't pop the question of Mario at the bike. Hmm. Whatever. Point is, when he was doing a pizza run for Mister Big, his pizza got a little cold. Old and as punishment, and he squashed his he squashed squashed his lover into a cube, so his bike would be as cold as his pizza. Now every day he has to serve pizza so on a kitty try. So cool. You ever tried looking cool on a on a free wheel six year old baby V bike? Anyway, uh so yeah, what they try to do is they try to reform a plan. You see, Fancy Fancy was gonna pretend to be Top Cat and lure everyone on so they can get them while while as uh, as as Spook takes the real Top Cat to Mr. Big and uh and and in exchange for Benny. Anyway, he manages to get the deal. And apparently, Mr. Big wants to kill Ill Spook now. Why? He just wants Benny. That's it. it wh why do you Why do you want to kill him suddenly? He He's been delivering your pizzas, man. Like what the hell? Oh, what? Anyway, so uh, yeah. When Fancy Fancy managed to get everyone in the building, everyone who wants to get the hundred dollar reward, because he managed to convince everyone. That, I mean, for God's sake, the, the wanted poster, I mean, the wanted poster says, as you can get 50,000 grand 
and just to turn Top Cat in. Doesn't say anything about about who can turn him in and or how many can turn him in. Point is loophole. Oh, and as Mr. Big was about to kill Top Cat, can I can I just take a minute to focus on all the uh, crazy stuff? I mean, check it out, check it out. This movie is rated P this movie is rated G, which is a ten for all ages, but with all the stuff that this movie gets away with, like, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, showing us like, show, showing us a naked cat lady, naked lady cat. Well, she wasn't naked. Benny saw her naked, but still, it was still kind of weird. And there's this little boy around and she, he is just freaking crazy. I think he's the Antichrist, actually. In the movie, he, he acts like an innocent little boy, but then he acts... Then he acts all vicious when he sees Top Cat. Then later on in the movie, he says he wants Top Cat's blood. Or, and then he comes back with a, with an axe in his mouth and acting all evil. It was pretty freaking weird. And they in the movie, they have real guns. Real guns, man. And, and, uh, and, uh, the, and, and, uh, what else was there? What else was there? What else was there? Uh. Okay, I can't think of them all, but if I could write down all the list of all the stuff that this movie managed to get away with and still having this rated B and rated G, e, e, I, I would show you guys. And and let me show you this as well that they managed to get away with and at the same time still having a G rated. I know, right? It was pretty... Yeah, they managed to get away with that. They managed to get away with that. Uh, anyway. Anyway, Top Cat managed to escape Mr. Big and make it look like he was in the pizza box, but really he wasn't. How did he get out of there exactly? The thing was guarded. Did I, I mean, how did he manage to get a tire tape recorder or with all of his lines and everything and managed to get out of the pizza box without anyone noticing I did not notice that. Anyway, he managed to convince everyone in the room to turn Mr. Big in. And because what do you expect? People are crazy and will just do anything for money. Anyway, and then and then when uh then when it looks like Mr. Big was taken in, Top Cat was gonna bury the diamonds so that way he can use them to have a better life. But these orphans actually came by and they were gonna plant a tree, each remember were, you know, a good thing because the orphanage that they were going to live in was going to get shut down because they couldn't pay the rent. Seriously? Even orphanages have to pay rent? God damn it. If you ask me, orphanages should not pay rent. I mean, for God's sake, that's just, that's just even crueler. Whatever. Then Top Cat kind of feels bad because the kids won't have a home. So he tells them that they can bury something there and then they find the diamonds. The point is they, they can have a home. It was kind of sweet of Top Cat to do that. But personally, if I was Top Cat, why didn't he just give him one diamond? I mean, if one diamond able to got him on pla platinum class and all that stuff, I'm pretty sure one diamond would have saved the orphanage. Hell, oh, for all we know, that diamond could have been worth of two years worth of rent. <laughs> and, or if I was Top Cat, I would even made it even sweeter and adopted the little guys. Well, not as my children, but as like crew members, you know? Make the crew bigger. The more, the merrier. I mean, yes, technically, well, they are cats after all. And do cats really need to like go through documents and have child service? Because I don't know how this world works. All I'm saying is, if I was top cat, I would have gave them one diamond, or even better, adopted them, not as kid, not as my children, but as crew members. But whatever, giving them the diamonds was still a sweet. Eat. Anyway, they don't live in a sellout penthouse, but they do manage, but the entire gang does manage to live in the new, the new Pogies Alley. Hey, that's the name, that's the name. And it ends with, and it ends with the entire crew singing his name. What, an, what a crazy movie this was. I gotta say, this movie was pretty cray cray. All of its profanity stuff and, and all the stuff that they should have done, um, but they don't do it. Point is, it's kind of a crazy movie, but I did love this movie.
Hell, I would even say I even loved it more than Top Cat the movie. I'd give this solid movie uh, an 8 out of 10. It's an awesome movie. Highly recommend it. Anyway, uh, today's shout out goes to uh, uh, this review shout out goes to uh, Top Cat. No, not the not the cat, but an actual new channel. It just started. It just started running actually. So far, it's just this person who's running uh, these these adorable cat videos. If you like if you like Top Cat, I'm sure you like cute old cat videos. I do. If, I highly recommend this channel. Go check out Top Cat. At Anyway, this is the F Man Critic telling you to like, subscribe, hit notification, and I promise you guys, I won't make any more bets like, like I won't be on this channel for like another semester for 20 quid. I promise I won't do that again. Bye!